Hey guys, so I, as you can see, do not have a palette expander or braces anymore. Um, I got mine off a few months ago, but I wanted to do a video um, with some tips and tricks and then pros and cons of having and getting a palette expander, especially as an adult. I did not get mine until I was 28 years old. Um, and I'm very glad I did, but I wanted to um, help you out if you're thinking about getting one. So why would you want one? Um, you might want one for health reasons. You might want one for cosmetic reasons. Um, you might want one for pain issues. If you're having shoulder and neck pain, maybe it's connected there. Uh, I got my expander for all of those reasons. Um, some of the pros of having a palette expander are your chewing. Before hardly any of my teeth touched, I didn't, it took me forever to eat. I was always the last one to finish eating. Um, and I really slow. And so it will help your chewing and your eating. Um, it will help you breathe better. I did not realize how much trouble I had breathing. Um, but after having my expander, I noticed a really big difference in my being my ability to breathe. And there were times while I was adjusting, I feel like I was like hyperventilating. <laughs> and and I had to intentionally calm down. But after the adjustment period, I breathed so much better than I did before. I did not realize how connected it was. And because I breathe better and I eat better, I sleep better. Um, another reason would be just to have a pretty smile. I did not mind mine before. I just, it was just me. Um, I was okay with it like it was, but it was a really nice perk of getting the expander and now I'm like, I'm thrilled. Another reason for me was my pain issues. I've always had a lot of neck and shoulder pain and um, my dentist told me it would be hard to get me out of pain, that chronic pain, if we didn't fix the, the jawline issue. Um, so those were some cons for me why I chose to do the expander. I mean, some pros. <laughs> There are a few cons, but they're worth it. Um, the cons are, of course, pain while you're dealing with the adjustment and the tightening of the expander and the braces. Um, you might deal with headaches. Um, another con is they're not attractive. <laughs> they're not very pretty, um, but again, it's worth it. Uh, it can be hard to eat sometimes, um, especially certain foods. And then they can be expensive. If your insurance doesn't cover it, they're very expensive. And all of these things are things to consider um, when deciding whether you, you want you want to go that route or not. Um, for me, all the cons were totally worth it. I would highly recommend it. Um, I had my expander for 10 and a half months. They had said four to seven. It took me about 10 and a half. Um, but again, worth it. Just know that when you're an adult, it might take a little bit longer than if you were a kid. Um, so some foods that you might want to think about after you, you know, just get your expander or your braces or after they've been tightened. Um, your mouth can be kind of sensitive. Um, sometimes my jaw would just hurt really, really bad. Um, I did not go the Jello and pudding route. I, I, I would like to eat a little bit better than that. And so my go-tos were smoothies, um, soups, some vegetable soups with really soft vegetables, um, potatoes. I do mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, all forms of potatoes. Um, eggs were huge. Um, you could do them mashed, you could do them omelet, you could put them in your smoothies. Um, yogurt was another one. And so it took me like a couple of days to adjust um, and I would eat those foods while I was adjusting and then I could go back to doing some of the harder foods. 
Um, and my dentist, he did recommend um, eating those foods. It's not bad to hurt while you're chewing. If you like, if you're chewing on meat or something harder, it actually kind of helps loosen um, some of what's adjusting in there. Um, and it can be a good thing. They recommended that you do work on eating those foods. Don't baby yourself too much. However, sometimes you just need a break or it's just too painful um, and you don't want your entire meal to be like that. So foods that I found to avoid <laughs> or only eat at home like in private um, were noodles. They get stuck in there and they hang down your throat. If you were going to eat them, like cut them up really small <laughs> or don't eat them out in public. Um, another one is popcorn. I love popcorn and it's like a weekly thing for us. However, all of the kernels and the little pieces, they just get stuck up in there. And if you're out in public, it is really hard to get them out and they're kind of scratchy. So I would advise only eating those at home when you can clean your mouth out afterwards. Um, so those were my two big things that I didn't eat. Of course, things that were like really sticky, um, honeycomb, or if you were chewing, you know, gum is probably not a good idea. Um, but I never lost a bracket trying to chew anything hard. The only brackets I lost, I was eating something soft. So they would have come off no matter what. Um, uh, tips for cleaning your braces and your teeth while you've got all of this stuff in your mouth. Um, I was recommended a water pick um, to help kind of use the water pressure to get a lot of the... Um, the big stuff out, especially if you have a palate expander. I had a Series 2000 expander that covered the roof of my mouth. Um, and if you have one of those, that water pit can help flush out between the roof of your mouth and the um, plastic on the expander. And so it was a lifesaver. Um, the water pick that I have looks like this, but there are lots of different options. Um, out there and the other things I would recommend for cleaning are um, keep some of these with you some either toothpicks or some soft picks or something you can keep in your purse or your pocket if you're gonna be eating out um, also for at-home cleaning I found a little mirror really handy one of these um, I just got it from my dentist, and so if you have an issue where you need to see kind of up in there, um, these are really, really handy. The other thing that I use daily um, after I would brush my teeth and use the water pick is this little brush. Um, this little end right here is perfect for getting in between your teeth um, and up between your braces. And so this was a lifesaver. I love this thing. And I just got it from my dentist. Um, but I think you can, you know, also buy them. So those were my tips for keeping everything clean. Um, I tried oil pulling while I was wearing my retainer and my braces. And it did not go very good. Maybe you can do it. I could not do it. It was too much in my mouth at one time and I gagged so bad. So the other thing that I know people always ask about is wax. Um, some people cannot get the hang of it. Some people love it. Um, my sister could not get the hang of it. She ended up like stuffing um, paper towels in her mouth at night to give herself a break. I loved the wax. Um, so my tip for the wax is to pinch off a little ball and then warm it up with your fingers so it's kind of pliable. And then you are going to flatten it into a pancake so it's just like flat and round um, if you're only covering one bracket. And then you would stick it on the bracket and then you would kind of pinch it into the crevices around the bracket. 
Um, and so it's already kind of warm and pliable and then you're like squeezing it on there. And then just let it sit for a few minutes before you try to eat anything or drink anything. Um, and it really, it really works. It really worked for me. Um, really well. I did not have any problems with it staying on. If you are covering several brackets, instead of making a lot of little flat pancakes to cover each one individually, um, pinch off a longer piece and flatten it out and warm it up and then stick it over all of the brackets and pinch it in the top and the bottom. That worked, that stayed on better for me than just doing an individual bracket. Sometimes even if there was only one bracket that was bothering me, I would cover two or three um, because it stayed in there better. So um, those are my tips for wax and I was a huge fan of wax. Um, so maybe that will help you out there. After you get your, um, your expander off, you, it took me so long to adjust. Like it took me a long time to feel like this is my mouth and I have so much room in there before my tongue was like so crowded and it hardly fit and I never knew where to put it. I did not realize the amount of room that I would gain and I was therefore able to put my tongue up on the top of my mouth without like panicking. Um, and that was, after I got used to it, that was just like the best thing ever. I still get excited about it and I've had my braces off for like nine months now. <laughs> so the other thing um, after you get your retainer and your braces off would be your, or your expander and your braces would be your retainer. Um, I have a retainer, um, a wire retainer, well, you can see that, um, that goes up in the roof of my mouth. And then I have a retainer for the bottom. It has got um, a tooth in it where I'm still missing one back here. Um, and so this will buy me time to figure out what I want to do with that spot. Um, the biggest tips that they gave me for retainer, of course, do not miss wearing your retainer. And if I think if I went two or three nights without wearing it, I probably wouldn't be able to fit it back in there. <laughs> I, um, so I try not to um, miss my retainer. Um, and um, you brush it just like you would brush your teeth. So when I brush my teeth at night, I also brush my retainer before I stick it up in my mouth. I prefer to do it at night instead of like doing it when I get up in the morning. I guess it's personal preference. Um, the last thing about that is do not, if you go out to eat, do not wrap your retainer up in a napkin. No matter how ugly you think it is or how unsightly or gross it might be on the table, do not wrap it up in a napkin because that is where they get thrown away and they get lost and then you have to replace them or you might not and quit wearing your retainer altogether. So I would recommend getting another garage for your retainer if you need to keep one in your car or your purse um, or find something, you know, the equivalent of this so that no matter where you go, you've got somewhere safe to put it so you will not lose it. And the brighter colored, the better. Um, it's much easier to find if you can see it. So <clears throat> those are my pros and cons and tips and tricks for wearing a powder expander as an adult. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.